Now these are probably eh, a little bit, a little bit, not too much challenging, but these are going to be the ones that you're going to pose. So the first one that we're going to do, again, hold your answers, do not blurt them out, but the first one that we're going to do is that a patient is undergoing therapy for a broken ankle. In the process, he uses iontophoresis for 30 minutes. What is the code and how many units are being used? Are y'all stuck? Yes. You see it? Um, if y'all was stuck, I'll let you ask question. Um, are you supposed to therapy in the Therapy is going to throw you off. Yeah, okay. So what type of therapy is it? Mm -mm. That's the that's the condition. What type of therapy? It is physical therapy, but what type of therapy? Iontophoresis. Oh, I thought it was an No, it's not. I said I iontophoresis. I don't know what that means. Go to I. It's right there. Yeah, 
Hello? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Doctor. Oh, good afternoon, Dr. Smith. Good afternoon. You stuck? Yes. Okay, that's what that's what everybody is like. No, miss, this is not this is not true. So <laughs> you found it? Okay. So when you are looking for this particular case. You're going to go to iontophoresis. Okay. Because when you go to therapy, therapy is going to throw you off. It's not telling you we have to pay pay. It's telling you to do it. So then you have to go to the type of therapy, which is iontophoresis. In okay. the index. In the index? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Do you have it? Uh, I'm going to, is it uh, uh, 97033? Correct. Okay. So once you get there and you read the code, tell me how many units that is. Okay. Maybe two. But it's not wrong. So it's just better to be doing it. When you can ask for me, it's just a code.
Hello. Hello. Did you find it? It's like <laughs> no, I can't find it. Yes, you can. So for for every fifteen minutes, how many units is that? I'm sorry, but I can't find the code. I keep going back and forth to the book. Oh, okay. okay. I need to find it first, and I'll let you know. Okay. Go to four seven. I'll tell you where it is. Go to page 478. I was two pages away from it. I was getting close to it. <laughs> we hear you flipping your pages. <laughs> you like, where's the code at? Yeah. 478? Uh-huh. Okay, I found it. So for every... For e each 15 minutes. Yes, for every 15 minutes, one unit. So how many units is it? If you need it for 30 minutes. Uh, two. Correct. That's the answer. Okay. All right, y'all ready for the next one? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. You okay? They looking at me crazy over here, too, so it's all right. <laughs> All right, Miss Berryman suffers from Alzheimer's, dementia, and diverticulitis. Her family can no longer take care of her and is visiting with Park Manor Nursing Home for the first time. The doctor spoke with Miss Berryman and her family for 30 minutes regarding treatment and her possible stay. What type of visit is this? And it's, it is a new patient, but it is not an office visit. So code it. Oh, you got the first one before I want to put the last two in the, I'm not right. Yeah, I'm used to it. Other people trying to read it.
So, it's not an office right? Yeah, um, it's the National Security Service. Correct. I don't know which one Well, if this is her first time, what would she be considered? Mm -mm. If this is her first time, what would she be considered? A new patient? A new patient. She would be considered a new patient. So, you're in the right place. So, then from there, you use those codes. To get the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is another word for new patients? First time, initial. Oh. You should think it's too hard, girl. So we go to nursing facilities or where do we go to? That's right, nursing facilities. And then initial nursing, uh, new or established patient? No. No, you don't have to go to page eight. Where did they tell you to go? The code. So yes, if you're trying to, if you're saying where do I go in that block, you can start at page eight. But if you know that they're in the front, you can go to the front. But 35 is not what? Not 30. Correct. You have to go down to the lesson. So if it's 30, but it's not 35, you have to go down to the lower code that includes that time. Kelly, you good? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> okay, where are you? I'm in nursing facility services, initial. Uh -huh. Nursing facility care. Right. 
And then yeah. I don't know how to choose which code. So based on the time, based on the time of what the patient did, they were with the doctor was with the family for 30 minutes. Yes. So if you look at the code 99, 99304 versus 99305, 305 is 35 minutes. Well, that's, mm -hmm. not, that's not 30 minutes. Okay. 99304 is 25 minutes. Yes. So that's at least 25 minutes. You cannot code for less than with a code that's more. Does that make sense? So if it's uh, 30, we have to go to the one that's lower? Correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay that makes sense. Okay. So if it doesn't spell it out for you based on the decision that was made, you'll go by the time. Okay. So if, if we don't have the bullet points, we go to the time, right? Correct. And sometimes it might be both. Sometimes you might have the bullet point available and sometimes you have a time, but you have to code to the best code possible. Okay. Everybody good? <laughs> Next, patient, that's what PT is, patient attended therapy in the pool. No, never mind. Skip. Sorry, no, don't worry about that one. Skip. What's the next one? Kelly, you got it? Mm, not yet, ma'am.
I got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. These are pretty easy. Okay. Oh, Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you got it? Yes. Okay.
And what are, are you not saying here? You're not saying anything, so you getting it? You have any questions? No. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. So this one is an information we consulted regarding the weight loss program. So this is, I'm just going to give you a hint. It is an e and code. It is not an office visit, though. But it is in the e and code section. Okay, did they answer your question? Yeah, yeah. But are you still lost? Yeah. Mm -mm. No, you're getting an outpatient and outpatient confused. Outpatient is when you are doing a major procedure to get them to come into the office or to the surgical center, have the procedure done, and go home. That's outpatient. An office visit is similar to that, but you're not having any major medical procedures done. Oh, so inpatient. Inpatient is staying at the hospital, spending the night. No. 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 Radiation is excellent. Just read it for what the question is asking. It's a new patient consultation. That's it.
Ellie, you okay? Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, well, what did you get as the code? Okay, so I went to consultations. Correct. Is it consultations? Uh-huh. Is it an office? Yes. Okay, so is it the first code? Yes. Okay, then 99241? Yes, that's correct. Complaining of low back and neck pain after a motor vehicle accident. Visit was 30 minutes.
Come on, these are the ones we have to do. Oh, come on. Only call it for what it is. So when you have a specialized visit, that's when you look above and beyond. When you go for weight loss, that's not a typical doctor visit. When you go to a nursing home facility, that is not a doctor visit. When you go for a consultation, that is not a doctor visit. This person is going in because they're hurt from a car accident. You can go to the doctor for that, but there's no specific category for it. You tried to be in the right spot to go see your hand is there, so what code did you get? You don't have to. You, you really don't. Like, you get it, but then you're like, oh, I need to look at something else. No. Kelly, you good? Um, I think so. And what are you good? All right, we're going to switch over to the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this is the only one that says I can say this. Oh, it's Dr. Smith, ma'am. Um, the, your other student said he's lost. <laughs> okay. All right, Eduardo. What's going on? Where are you lost at? What was the hand again? Oh, the hand was it. Mm 
Alright, okay. So here's the next one. So Kevin, you can go ahead and work on this one while I'm working with Eduardo on the other one. Ma'am, are you talking to me? Yes, you can go ahead and work on this new one that I'm about to post, and I'm going to continue to help Eduardo while everybody else is working on the, the new one. Okay. All right, so on the new one, you have after childbirth, the placenta must be delivered. So what is the procedure that you're coding for? You got it? You're good. That's good. Kelly, you got it? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good. No struggle. I always do this one, and y'all get mad at me, so I'm going to do it this year. I'll see you look up test too, baby. Because it's not going to come up. It might come up in test. I don't remember. Yeah, y'all going to look it up. Look it up. Test two, baby. 
Baby is nothing but in vitro fertilization. Where they take an egg from the mom and the sperm from the dad and fertilize it and put it back in the mom. That's in vitro fertilization. Doctor Smith. Ma'am. So I went in the index and then up it says test tube fertilization, right? Correct. And then it tells me to go to in in vitro. In vitro. So go to I. Oh, it's I. Okay. In vitro. In vitro. Okay. In vitro. No. I thought it said in vitro. That's what they said. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to the V and I couldn't see it. Okay. Five, eight, three, two, one. 
have a good job today we are going to go ahead and stop because we usually get dismissed early so remember tomorrow you're going to have a quiz just on the concept of cpt those can be found in your notes from caduceus and the powerpoints in caduceus so the rules how many numbers why do you do this so you need to go over those notes for your quiz tomorrow the actual exam on CPT codes will be Wednesday. <laughs> okay. So if you all need more practice after the quiz tomorrow, then we can pick back up with some of the questions that I still have remaining for for this particular presentation. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Smith. You're welcome. And what else did you find that answer? Yes, I know y'all did it because we were sitting here working on it together. That's why I prefer you to have, and that's why I know, but I can tell. <laughs> so. One What was it? Nine, nine, one, two, one, four. The car accident. Okay. Oh, it's some stuff down there today. But it's some stuff down there today. <laughs> <laughs> 